Interest in archaeology and the ancient world is booming. And why not? It seems like almost every single day there's a new archaeological discovery that is rewriting our understanding of our ancient past. Archaeology is everywhere, from Netflix and Discovery Channel documentaries to hundreds or thousands of social media accounts dedicated to archaeology from both academics and armchair archaeologists and historians alike. But in this digital world of ours, full of things like clickbait news articles and AI-generated content, the real story of what archaeologists are finding and how they're finding it is often lost. It can now be hard to determine what is real versus fake. You'd imagine that a channel called the History Channel would have fact-based evidence, but instead you find documentaries about aliens, for example. Even social media accounts that rely on academic material for their content often only use things like newspaper articles or academic article abstracts, purely because the, the goodies, the, the juicy bits of those articles are actually locked behind a paywall. Furthermore, most people who are commenting on archaeological practice have never had the opportunity to actually go on an archaeological project. They don't know what it's like to excavate a trench or what happens with the artifacts after we take them out of the ground. So on my channel, I plan to dig deeper into the real archaeology that is behind these headlines. Why are their discoveries important? What does the academic paper actually tell us? And what are some of the holes that are still present in the research? So who am I to talk about all of this? My name is Dr. Hugh Thomas, and I'm an archaeologist. I have a PhD in archaeology. I'm a lecturer in archaeology at a major institution here in Australia. And for the last 20 plus years, I've been taking part in archaeological fieldwork all around the world. I've excavated lots of different things, from settlements to sanctuaries, theatres to storage pits. But obviously more recently I've been working in the regions of Al-Ullah and Khaibar in Saudi Arabia and I would say that one of the coolest jobs I've ever had is sitting in an open helicopter leaning out to take photographs of archaeological sites. I don't cosplay Indiana Jones with a leather jacket and an adventurous scarf as I go around trying to find new archaeological sites. I mean, if I wore that in the field I'd probably die of dehydration in about 10 minutes. I spend months of the year going overseas to conduct archaeological fieldwork, which for me at the moment is driving hours into the middle of the desert to document 5,000 year old tombs. It's really cool. And apart from digging, I've also published a lot of academic articles on a variety of different topics. I've looked at the role of dance iconography in death rituals, archaeological thermography, which is where you use thermal cameras to identify heat signatures from subsurface archaeological remains. More recently, my team and I have published academic papers on a variety of different types of sites and structures across the region of northwest Saudi Arabia, from Mustatil, which are 7,000 year old monumental ritual structures. And my specific focus as part of this team has been to look at the burial practices from the Neolithic through to the Iron Age. We've published on things called funerary avenues, these pathways that are flanked by tens of thousands of monumental tombs. And we've also published two papers on the radiocarbon dating of the people who are buried inside of these structures. So I hope you'll like, subscribe and follow me here on YouTube as I make a series of videos trying to dig deeper into the real archaeology that goes into our understanding of the ancient world. And make sure to comment below and tell me what topics you'd like me to address in any upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.